guys. This is Florida life. People walking their labradoodle. <laughs> Fabulous finds at Pines, and that's where we're going. They just opened about 26 minutes ago. I'm excited to see what they have in store for us to buy and flip for profit. Turn right onto 10th Street. So here is one of the fabulous finds. This one's a nice one. That's a big one, but there's a smaller one just up the road here that I love so much. You can get some really great things. I'm gonna show you in just a moment. Now, when I go in here, I only bring my credit card with me and my key fob and I shove it in my, my bra. <laughs> or you could bring a fanny pack because I learned my lesson that last time I was here, you can knock things over with your purse. I didn't, but I came close to it several times. So, wow, look at that, that door just opened for me. Whoa, there's ghosts here too. Okay, let's go in there. Okay, oh, it's a do not enter. I guess I have to get in here. <laughs> they have baskets right out the front. I love this thrift store. They always have great sales. Check this out. Today, we have 20% off of green tags, 50% off of white and yellow tags, and it looks like $49.95 or less on select furniture will be 50 off as well. That is excellent. They have so many things to look through, but one of my favorite things about this thrift shop is how organized everything is. You don't feel like you're shopping at a thrift store. You feel like you're at a fancy boutique and the prices are just right. I love brass, so I'm looking at these bells. Oh my gosh, there are things all around. So much to look at. It's just so much fun picking through it. I'm guessing I'm probably going to be in this shop for a couple of hours. This is cool. Is that like a really large, is that it's some type of bird? Let's see. On the shelves, right when you walk in to the right, they just tuck things away as if you were walking into someone's living room. And there were things on their shelves. Look at these hobnail clear glasses very nice I do you notice a couple of chips so I will leave those oh my goodness now these are desirables these are old match sticks oh man <laughs> usually I buy jewelry in jars like that but definitely gonna pick this up I don't think that they want much for it. Let's just check it in here to make sure. Yeah, blue tags, no discount, but for about $9 a piece, that's definitely worth it. So we'll make sure to pick those up as well. This is swung glass, but it's slightly swung and it's clear and I have an abundance of those type of vases. So I'm gonna leave that, Let's see what else we can find. I'm sure we're gonna find some really cool things and oddities, but we just haven't gotten to that section yet. These are really pretty Irish coffee mugs. Love it. I love that Delft blue. Speaking of Delft blue, I can never find a piece that's not broken or damaged somehow. Check out these records. Peter Pan tucked behind Annie there. Let's see, lots of CDs, definitely vintage from the 90s. Artwork over here. I love this section. I found some wire art with an owl design that sold very well for me, about 480 something dollars. 
I wonder if one of you can please let me know in the comments section what is the name of this type of art? I'm definitely going to pick it up because it's only like a dollar something, but it's like wood shavings and it seemed to be very popular in the 70s and the 80s. Okay. Oh, I'm kind of liking this grape, this candied grape lidded dish, but there's a lot of chips, little flea bites all over the place. Look at this terrine. That's very beautiful. This green vase over here definitely fooled me. I thought it was uranium glass. I thought for sure it would glow. I didn't have my light on me because, I mean, maybe it did. I don't know. But when you look at it closer, it's kind of just cheaply made. What a gorgeous amber pitcher. I have to be very careful when I'm around amber glass because I'm always very tempted to buy every single piece that I see. What a cool find. This is a Fitz and Floyd ceramic hand-painted Napoleon Bonaparte teapot. And it's sold recently on Poshmark as well as eBay for around $30 to $50. And for $19.95 with 20% off, I think I'm going to go ahead and pick this beautiful, flawless piece up. Well, here I go again. Another amber piece. Look at this platter. So pretty. Just going to look at it. I see an eye. It looks like an entire eye with the pupil. It's so beautiful. No, I'm going to pass on this eye plate for now. Beautiful plates up here. Let's see here. They have some random things on the shelves here. You really need to take the time and look at everything. Love cobalt blue. I'm so attracted to that type of glass. It's a cool wooden candle holder with a handle. If there was a pair, I probably would pick that up. I'm not gonna pick this up, but this blue titmouse plate is so pretty. I'm not sure if you can see how 3D it is. I just have a lot of plates and they just don't move well for me. This black glass plate is part of the Mikasa Opus collection. I just know this well because it was very popular in the late 80s and early 90s and my mother had a whole set of this, so. It was kind of a nice little nostalgia to find this piece right now. I have been doing really well with selling hand-painted Italian oil and vinegar vessels. These are really, really awesome. They're only $6.95 minus 20% off. So I might end up picking this setup. How beautiful. Look at the little round handle. And now check out these Raggedy Ann ceramic project pieces. Quite interesting. I mean, are they Raggedy Ann? They look kind of different. So always be sure to check out the toy section at these shops. You never know what vintage goodies you can find that you can resell for profit. This is Doc, I think, from Snow White. But I'm not sure what year he's from and to be really honest i'm not sure that i like him <laughs> i'm not sure that i like this plushie i'm gonna go ahead and leave it on the shelf let's see dolls are not my specialty i don't know much about toys or dolls but you know if something looks interesting i might look it up on the spot but 
just kind of browsing. I do look for some vintage Legos for um, Adam. He is a big time Lego collector. Some vintage Barbies. I'm gonna look through this basket here. Oh my word, I cannot believe what I'm finding here. Vintage Tinker Toys. The story goes that Adam found some Tinker Toys at American Thrift in Lauderhill, Florida, and then he put it down because he wasn't sure if he wanted to buy them or not. And then he went back for them and they were gone. So definitely going to pick that up since that's a nostalgia factor for him as well. This is really neat. This is a sewing box, super retro, in very good shape. And it feels like there are things inside of it. Let's see, nothing there. Oh, look at all these things. Velcro, cool, vintage, what else down here, okay, some vintage buttons, people do ask me for vin vintage buttons all the time on whatnot, oh, these are cool, you guys. I want to check out everything in them, but I think that I'm going to surprise myself when I take these home. I'm going to look through everything. Look at these. So neat. <laughs> Random buttons. Scissors. More buttons. <gasps> wow. <laughs> I just love buttons. So does Adam. He almost bought a jar of buttons once at an antique shop more buttons here buttons for days super neat i think that this is a steal for five bucks about six dollars 5.95 so yeah i'm definitely going to be taking this piece i'm going to bring it up front since i don't have enough room in my basket they have a basket here when you grab things you can put it and it says sold and they watch them for you so nobody actually takes anything out of the baskets this is a pretty quiet place and everyone is very respectful every single time i come in so i'm very excited to see what other vintage things look at these knitting needles and they're in their original packaging and they are in great shape there are some open ones here i'm getting way too excited i don't know if they're worth much but i just love the vintage writing on it and the perfect condition that they're in. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up all of them that are packaged. Wow, here's another one. Great condition. Oh boy, this is in a different type of cylindrical packaging. I'm gonna pick that up. All these needles. Unfortunately, I don't know what the values are of the ones that are open or any of them. So I'm just taking a gamble um, on those needles. I know nothing about crochet. I know nothing about knitting. Sometimes I wish my mom was around so that she can help me with this. But they look super awesome and retro. So going to pick them up. And speaking of buttons, look at this jar. There's lots of vintage buttons in there. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick these up. I may be making a mistake. They're $7.95. I think there's some discount on there. Natural clay. Look at all the stuff in here. Let's see. Okay. That's done. Hmm. Some ribbon. Ribbon in a pillbox. Vintage pillbox. That's cool. Pretty. Let's see. Beads. I wish I can find some vintage beads. I think I see some on the other basket there, but let's kind of soar through here for a minute. That's cool. I'm 
Dill's Pipe Cleaners. I've seen these before. I don't think they're worth very much. So um, I'm guessing I'm going to leave them. There are tons of vintage beads here. And these pink ones are so 90s. Do you guys remember these beads? Let's see. These are cool. Looking for very unique beads. Nice. Okay. Doll heads. These are great. These are just really great. People and whatnot love things like this. So I am going to pick that up. Let's see if we can find more doll heads. Wow. This is a um, mouse with huge ears. Look how interesting this box is. Let's see. More. There's a lot of mice in here. I'm going to take them all. Let's see what else. A little one. They're flocked. And they are flocked mice. <gasps> Lollipop doll heads. <laughs> Super vintage. I'm going to have to take them. Definitely. This Their hair is a little messed up, but I mean, they're quite vintage. So super cool. Yep. going to take those. What else? These doll masks or some sort. They're so vintage. Gonna take those two. Okay, so I found, I think I'm gonna take everything in this box. More mice. What is this? Hmm. Some fabric pieces. It says Tennessee on it. I'm gonna leave that. Let's see some more doll stuff little they have like little plastic babies also some more flocked mice yep um <laughs> i don't know if they're worth anything but i know they're super vintage and i know that people love that kind of stuff on whatnot so look at this baby it's like a little cutie oh goodness Oh, I like these little wooden doll heads, beads. Definitely, I'm going to pick all of these up also. Are there more? These are like little babies. <laughs> Can I take them for crafts? And what are those, like deer, moose, deer family. <laughs> Super vintage. Another mouse. Look at that. I'm taking the entire thing. More beads down here. I got excited when I saw them, so now I want to see. Oh, look at these daisy ones. That's pretty. Daisy is very vintage, very 70s, so I'm going to take that. Super cool. And they're already like bagged up, ready to go, ready for me to sell. I don't know about these. You guys, what's the consensus for beads? Like, do you think I should pick these up? Let me know. So the next time I do go to the Fabulous Finds, the smaller store here, then I'll pick them up. These are pretty vintage also. Look at these banana ones. Cool, cool. I think that's it on the beads. I'm satisfied with what I got, so I'm just going to put these back. Awesome, awesome finds.
these are super vintage wooden thread spools with some of them ha having thread on it still but I'm trying to figure out what this is it looks like someone tried to make a it's a project piece they tried to put all the spools and other vintage items together and in a pot and make something an art piece this is a pretty cool vintage car but I do not think that it is worth much Let's see here is that okay kind of cool let's look around some more always looking for the glassy baby the store has a lot of just a lot of vintage items this is really pretty I've seen this before and they don't resell for very much I forget the brand but it is a good brand but there's many of them on eBay, so I'm gonna leave this. Do you see a little chip there too? Let's see. Looking for vintage candles. This is soap. Up here. It's a pretty pottery piece, and I know I'm probably gonna regret not picking that one up. Let's see. What is this? G-E-T. Hmm. G-E-T was the name, the brand name. Let's see. So when you come here, prepare to be here for two to three hours because you need to look around in like every nook and cranny, every corner. So there's gonna be something that just pops, it doesn't, there, nothing just pops right out here. You have to kind of dig around. Sometimes they display things that they just know for a fact is worth a lot and they'll put it right in those center tables. But a lot of the store is just about like digging, digging around like this birthday stuff I like old staplers also old rulers that's a big clothespin pen holder what I'm looking for I haven't been able to find yet so what I'm looking for are wooden pipes vintage smoking pipes And I have found my marbles. I was asking Marilyn, a, a wonderful lady that works here, I was asking her if there were any marbles. And she said that she thought she saw some. And these might have been the ones that she thought she saw. They were towards the cash register. So I definitely picked up these marbles. It's kind of hard to find marbles these days. Probably it's just dangerous because children put them in their mouth. We're going to see if those glow when we get home. Let's see. I like this bookcase. There's always really cool stuff on it. I feel like bird salt and pepper shakers. There's a Wade here, but he's, he's broken up. Let's see. Piece of uh, a small lucite heart. Cylindrical vase it's cute though it's small a little piece of pottery this is cool look at all the kids hanging on two dollars about two dollars so I mean it, I don't know if they're kids or there's just people like hanging on to the side so that's cool I don't know what the value of it is I just like it so I'm gonna pick it up this is choking art I have a lot of trinket boxes so I'm gonna pass 
Let's look at this piece. I'm also looking for head vases. This one comes close. There's a chip on the side here. It's a hat vase. one of those wood chipping kind of art pieces again this looks to be on a silk canvas pretty Look at this clock <laughs> it's crazy it says whatever with all the numbers scattered at the bottom there <laughs> cool Adam has a piece just like this in his bathroom. People holding hands all around the candle holder. These are neat. I thought it was a maraca, but it's not a single maraca. <laughs> Look at this bag. If this was like a mix of bottle caps, I would pick it up, but they're all the same. So I'm going to pass. We're kind of like in the men's section. So golfing, t-shirts, ashtrays. Memo holders made out of leather. This is nice. <laughs> I like that. But I do have some leather memo holders similar to these. So I'm going to try to sell those first. I apologize, you guys, that this video ended abruptly. I got sidetracked and just started talking to another customer about other vintage items in the store that she liked as well. And I actually made a friend, but... Thank you so much for watching and if there's anything that you saw me thrift and you would like to purchase, please just email me at jolieflips at aol.com and just specify which item it was. I'm sure I will remember it. Thank you so, so much for watching and please stay tuned for part three of my Sarasota adventure.